it's a term of question, calculation mm. of the capital gains tax, which is payable. So as you say, there'll be quite a few small calculations, proceeds, less base cost gain, proceeds, this, uh, probably a share pool with these type of questions. Um, mm. Take over, exactly. So let's have a read. Let's see what we can get. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, investments in three companies. He's never been an employee or director of any of the companies. So that's sort of signposting straight at, straight at the start. There'd be nothing like business asset disposal relief available Excellent. on some of these. Um, so, yeah. Excellent. So, Ace Minerals PLC, quoted company. Uh, following events have occurred. 2001, he purchased 5,000 shares in old gravel. Um, and then he purchased uh, 10,000 in Ace Minerals in 2012. 2015, Old Gravel was taken over by Ace Minerals PLC and shareholders in Old Gravel PLC received two ordinary one pound shares and two pound cash. So yeah, that, I mean, that would have been a transaction that would have taken place in 2015, 16, where there would have been a considered part disposal uh, for the cash that he would have received when Ace Minerals took over um, Old Gravel. But uh, naturally, he'd received the um, two ordinary shares for one Old Gravel. So, yeah, he would receive 10,000, I think. Exactly. Uh, what, so, what we need to keep in mind here is the two companies are sort of, he, he already owns shares in both companies, and then one company is taking over another and offering more shares. So, his original purchase on 9th August 2012 of 10,000 shares would increase by mm. uh, the two ordinary shares for everyone. Mm. Yeah, so as you say, 10,000 shares. So he'll have yeah. 10,000 shares. And obviously the cash at that time in December in the 15-16 tax year would have been subject to capital gains tax. And then obviously, whenever you have a takeover, you calculate the total consideration and you correctly allocate base cost yeah you apportion the base cost according to the cash yeah which is the thirty thousand in this case yeah mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. um uh, value of the sum of each uh, is, is minerals plc was three pounds then in 1670 sorry just a quick question um uh Share for share, paper for paper exchange is automatic, right? Yep. When would you disapply? Uh, it'd be in remembering the scenarios now, where I'd say it's like earn out and deferred consideration, stuff like that. Um, Um, could make the uh, can I know in the scenario that you can disapply the share to share exchange rules if say business asset disposal relief would be available. Correct. Um, but in this in this case, it's not. Exactly. In the, in this case, it's not. But that is one of the situations you think about. And another situation is if you have capital losses brought forward. Oh yes. Uh, and you want to make use of them, then you might be better off disapplying. And what's the benefit of disapplying? As in, um, in contra uh, other than BADR and capital losses, base cost. Um, uh, if you disapplied the rules, uh, the share share exchange rules at an earlier stage, uh, it would mean that any gain, or any potential gain made on a disposal of the entire shareholding later, um, it would be a smaller gain potentially. Exactly. Um, so it, ca cash flow thing, basically. Um, exactly. It's, a, it's an uplift in base cost of shares. Uplift in base cost of shares. Yeah. So I'm just quickly, uh, might need to plug in my iPad to charge. Um, That's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. Um, so, uh, rights issue of one for three in Ace Minerals PLC. Uh, sold his rights, nil paid for 15,000. I, I was looking at this carefully because this was something I hadn't gone over in much detail uh, as a topic, and it came up in the revision mark. So, mm -hmm. 
Rights issue of one for three. Sold his rights, nil paid for 15,000. The market value of his existing holding was 130,000. Um, so when I think of that, sold his rights, nil paid, that there would potentially be a part disposal unless the proceeds from the sale of the rights are considered small. Agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 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 but here we have proceeds of uh, 15,000 pounds, so it exceeds the 3,000 pounds, which makes it small, so therefore no part disposal. Uh, sorry. Oh, yes, yeah, so, 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 yeah. No election to for small, where you just reduce the base cost by the proceeds. There will be a part disposal. Um, and also the rights issue also tells me that uh, he sold his rights nil paid for 15,000, so there'll be adjustments to the share pool. So there's definitely a share pool here. Um, yeah, and there'll be an adjustment to the share pool. So you have to work out the base cost relating to the sale of rights. Mm. Technically, what you do is as you're going down the date, you you are you have your share pool. You have obviously your date, description, shares, and cost. And obviously, if it was a company, you'll have index cost as well. Um, but as, as we go down the dates and the information, we are doing separate workings to explain what the revised base cost is. Every time an event happens, we have to get the revised base cost. So now we're looking at our tax year. Well, no, not yet. 2nd March 2020 is the 1920 tax year. So what do we have? Two ordinary shares. The bonus issue, the value of the ordinary shares was three pound each, and the value of the preference shares was one pound each. Well, it wasn't that it's a bonus issue. So, if it's a bonus issue of shares, then that wouldn't affect the overall base cost of the shareholding. Um. Would it? Mm. it would affect the number of shares that he receives. Yeah, uh, yeah, as in, um, so bonus issue, one ordinary share, one preference share for every two ordinary shares. So, um, I think what I think the issue we have here is that now we have preference shares as well. So, originally, we've just been looking at ordinary shares. Uh, so you just need to keep in mind that now preference shares have been included in the mix. So we need to allocate part of the base cost to the preference shares. That's the main thing you need to consider. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's continue. Um, 1st of April 2020, he sold his preference shares in eight minerals for um, 12000 value of an ordinary share at this date was £3.90. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, tying in with what you were saying about how um, uh, that would affect the overall base cost. Um, need to work out the actual base cost, which could be, which could be allocated to the preference shares. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. So proceeds less base cost, which we just allocated is a gain, but again, not in the 2021 tax year. So what do we have in the 2021 tax year? We have the disposal of his or all of his ordinary shares for £150,000. Proceeds 150, base cost would uh, be taken from the uh, share pool. Uh, and then that will give you your chargeable gain, subject to tax at uh, 10 or 20%. They haven't told us whether he's higher rate or basically, but regardless, uh, it'll be at 10 or 20%. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's move on. Um, April 2013 for 150,000. Uh, okay, so that'd be assumed to be a base cost. Um, but then taken over in July by Oxton Interiors, which is 200,000 loan stock worth 210. Sold the 
Lone Stock 255k in November 2020 case. 225,000 uh, would be the proceeds. No, so basically what happens is on take, so ignore the 225,000 because you have to use the market value on takeover because on takeover, you'd calculate the gain and you'll freeze the gain. And it's just that gain on takeover that crystallizes. The sale of loan stock later on is irrelevant for capital gains tax purposes. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then just quickly looking at Smart Supplies Limited, it looks like we would have a base cost again, a share pool because we've got some script dividends. Uh, we've got further script dividends. So it's the whole uh, script versus shares versus cash. We have a one for two rights issue at five pound, which Mr. Smith took up. And then we have a disposal in our tax year for £95,000. Um, did not make any other disposal in the tax year. What does that mean? That means annual exemption is available and basic rate ban was fully utilised. So all these shares will be subject to tax at 20%. Yep. Are you okay with uh, finishing off Miss, uh, Smart, Smart Supplies Limited? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to do an answer to this question anyway, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll crash through it in my own time and uh, uh, yeah. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, definitely. But yeah, so for smart supplies, again, we'll have uh, proceeds less base costs and we can only get base costs by having the share pool again. So basically this question has uh, tested share pools twice. Okay, let's leave it at that. Thank you for uh, doing a couple of extra sessions uh, for me and stuff. Thank you. No problem, anytime. Um, I think you are in a strong position. Um, obviously, the, the, the mock exam of 48% is, 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 is in the distant past now. So um, I wouldn't uh, think about that at all. Uh, since then, you've just done loads of questions and you've got about three days, three full days. So um, do as many more questions as possible, but then also remember to uh, take it easy the night before, as in uh, definitely not be learning anything completely new, which I, I think you've covered most of the content anyway. Um, it's just about applying the knowledge now and uh, understanding what the question is trying to ask from you. Uh, as I always mention, you read the question three times, twice minimum. Uh, why? Because uh, common examiners criticism is that students had the knowledge but failed to relate it back to the question you can only relate it back to the question if you fully understand the scenario and you can only understand the scenario by reading the question I, I can guarantee you when you read the question three times you would have covered everything um, so keep these points in mind uh, feel free to email me or whatsapp me if you have any uh, general queries and I'll definitely be happy to sort of look into something uh, if, if that's the case, it'll be obviously beneficial for me as well.